fastball inside river cats pitcher winds deals misses his spot it's put in the air but don't worry the right fielder is tracking it tracking it tracking it tracking it tracking it over the wall flips over makes the catch gabriel martinez scouting report says limited range in the outfield eat shit scout how about that his teammates they weren't really there to help and this guy he wasn't even there to really cheer. I mean, I need you to get more excited. I need you to get off your butt. I need you to give me something. That's a great catch. You're not going to see that all the time. You guys missed it. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Today's episode is brought to you by our good pals over at DraftKings. Thank you. Let's get into it. Boom, bada, boop, boom, bada, dee, boom, boom, skiddy, dee, boom, boom, boom. Louisville and Sacramento tied up at three goals apiece in stoppage time in the United Soccer League. And look at this. They all go up for the ball. Guys are on the ground. The ball's loose. Block shot by the defender going outside. And you can't hear it. They blew the whistle before that ball actually went out of bounds. Everyone is confused. They're both laying down. Hurt. Neither are hurt. They just want to call. But it's interesting. And they blew the whistle just for out of bounds. But because the the referee botched that and blew it before it went out of bounds. Everyone thought he was making a call on, on that situation. And they're yelling at him. And Adams is like, Hey, two guys jumped into me. And he's like, I didn't even, whatever. You're all good. And it's fine. Everyone thought this was what it about, but McFadden actually gets bumped from nine into 96. What actually happened was he just blew the whistle too early. So when we get back to the action, the ref is trying to drop a corner and uh Louisville guy is like, it's a drop ball here. And his assistant, Ref is like, actually, dude, you blew the whistle early. No, 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 it's a drop ball because Sacramento touched it last. Yeah, so it's Louisville ball. He says, choose a man, choose a man. I don't care, choose a man, okay? And the keeper on sack, great look, good goalie look, right? Let's all agree to that. That's a good goalie look. He's like, come on, come on, stay done. Press, stay on him, get up there, all right? Here we go. So kind of a last chance effort here. You got four minutes of stoppage time. This is a good effort. It's a drop ball. I don't know if you really practice this that much. Your ref's got it. Okay. Fan is like, let's do it. Moves movement, movement. See that guy in black shirt? He's like, move it, move it around, move it around. And ball drops, kicks it to the middle. And what's going on? Oh, how did that happen? Keeper's like, what? Goal for number 14, Wilson Harris. And they're excited. Fuck off. Whoa, dude. Okay. Fans are ecstatic. Megaphone jumping up and down. Uh, who says the United Soccer League is in a wild time? Look at this guy. I mean, look at that guy. Let's take a look at the replay. So it's kicked in and you got, it's not bad, right? You got white guys on the uh, defenders on the inside, purple on the outside. The only problem is w Wilson Harris fights for positioning, gets his foot there. Gives it to number four, Sean Tosh, who knows, man, that's so cool. He turns his body, which draws that one defender coming through the middle to the front of him, and then just a drop kick back to Harris, who does a little, oh, me? Okay, bam, hammers it home. If that's the play they drew up, then kudos to them. But I think it's just a great reaction and take what was given. So that is something you missed. The next thing you missed was Benjamin Calloway, golfer, Disc golfer, but a great golf name. Going with the backhand flippy shot, turns it over, gets the arc, gets the line just right. Ace. I think it's his second ace of the day. Puts him 13 under. He finishes 14 under, which was 33rd place. No, 48th place. He's the 33rd ranked golfer. But yeah, take another look. He's got to go all the way around these trees and then bend it at the perfect time. It flips, it goes nothing but chain exciting ace on hole number whatever hole that was for benjamin calloway great job that's something you missed maybe you planned on watching it disc golf community is rather large maybe you didn't as i told you today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings. thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the episode you guys can bet five dollars on anything and you will get 200 in bonus bets instantly college football is right around the corner football is right around the corner so download the DraftKings sportsbook app now new customers use promo code mist and bet just five dollars on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly that's promo code mist only at DraftKings sportsbook 
Back to baseball, New England Collegiate Summer League Championship game between Sanford and Newport. And Sanford's going to, no, they're not. They were. They had runners on base. They were going to push more across to expand their lead. No, they do not. Dixon Williams at third base just with the swipe catch, full extension. Teammates going crazy behind him. Other team not as crazy. Look at this guy. He's like, did he? Did he? Oh, runs onto the field. Yeah! To celebrate. Newport still down one, though, in the bottom of the ninth. Not any more. Tyler Hare ties the game in the bottom of the ninth over all the signage. Is he tagged out? No dummies. He hit a homer. Don't tag a guy out on his home run trot when he tied the game in the championship in the ninth. Be aware. Know the situation. No, play it safe. Make the tag, obviously. But Newport's tied the game. They got momentum. They're feeling good. They're feeling right. It's the time of their life. Clapping, clapping, clapping. Clap so hard. Undoes the necklace. It's a bracelet, Jimmy. Say the wrong word again, dummy. Anyway, here we go. Dixon Williams coming up. He's the guy that made the catch, and he's the guy that hits it right where it came from. Walk-off single for Dixon Williams, and the Newport goals go back-to-back and win the New England Collegiate Baseball Championship. They beat him. They beat him. They win. I don't like when guys run this far away in celebrations. Like, let your teammates catch up with you and celebrate. Don't run away. You know, now the crowd feels so removed, all that. Just come on. The final segment, I apologize, is probably something you did watch and were tuned into. It is unicycle basketball, where we have Team Swish in the green shorts, green and blue tops uniforms, and they're facing Pickup Team, which I think is a a bunch of guys that know how to ride unicycles, that just got together because they're not in uniforms. And I will spoil this team swish beats team pickup 100 to 18. And that's great ball movement. I mean, we got a pickup player off their unicycle. She did apologize before she fell. She said, Ooh, sorry. Um, so maybe team swish is like the globe trotters of, of unicycle basketball. They just go around, you know, just trying to get more people involved. It's gotta be a cool message board. If you know how to, ride a unicycle, but you're sick of doing the same stuff. Look at that outlet pass. Oh, yeah. Drop it in. Bam. Two points. Oh, celebrate. And then they're like, no, it didn't count. He's like, why? He's like, didn't count. He's like, it was out of bounds first. He's like, ah, dang. So that basket did not count on their uh, path to 100. Uh, Ref should be on a unicycle. I think we can all agree on that. Ref not being on a unicycle, or at least like stilts. Maybe the ref should be on stilts. That would be awesome. Does she get it in? No. Rebound by Team Swish. We got people on the ground. Oh, Team Swish on a fast break. Number 77, eyeing it behind the back. Oh, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, takes to three. Rebound by number 11. Falls off the unicycle. Dishes out. Whoa, shit. Did you guys see that move? Watch this. Catches the pass. I'm going this way. Psych. Leaves the t- these two on team pickup in the dust. In the dust. And just goes in, gets his basket on their way to 100 points. Um, why doesn't team Swish split up and make it even? Why would you want to why would you want to dominate 100 to 18? If you're trying to grow unicycle basketball. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. High five in team swish. I don't know about that. Look at this guy in the black shirt. Like red shirt scored a basket. Team swish isn't pumped up about that. They were trying to win 100 to nothing. And uh black shirt just like, Hey, high five. We got one. And you know, good on team swish to oblige and get the high five. Here we go. Number 11 driving peak helmet. On his way. Here we go. Pulls up for the three. Bang! That or points number 99 and 100. Game complete. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you enjoy these, please subscribe to the channel and choose your favorite fan.